so welcome to uh, this uh, tutorial session. Uh, this is a tutorial session on uh, Wacom X, or the thermosphere extension of the Wacom model. My name is Han Li Liu. I'm from the High Altitude Observatory, uh, NCAR. And uh, I'm going to give a very brief overview of, this, uh, uh, of the model and uh, reviewing some of the model structures, kind of uh, capability. And uh, then hopefully <laughs> my colleagues will show up and uh, uh, give the tutorial. Uh, so the, for um, the whole atmosphere model, the whole atmosphere refers to the, earth, to the atmosphere region from the Earth's surface to the upper thermosphere or exobase, uh, roughly zero to uh, 500 kilometers. And one of the important goals uh, relevant for this community uh, for, the, for development of this model is to study the thermosphere ionosphere variability as a part of the internal atmosphere variability, uh, and uh, which is also subject to a strong solar and magnetosphere forcing. And, uh, uh, and some of the issues or problems that can be addressed by this model include the Sun Earth connection, uh, study of a space environment, and uh, lower uh, and upper atmosphere coupling. And uh, this project was uh, initiated around uh, 2000, uh, thanks to the vision by Ray Robo, Byron Bovio, and uh, Rolando Garcia. And uh, this is uh, just to put uh, Wacom X in perspective. So uh, it's one of the three atmosphere components uh, of the NCAR uh, CESM model, uh, which stands for Community Earth System Model. And uh, the, uh, this is the essential or the default component. Thanks for coming. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, so the CAM, uh, Community Atmosphere Model. And then, uh, but it stops uh, in, the, uh, therm uh, in the stratosphere. And then uh, the standard Wacom extends the model to the lower thermosphere. And uh, then currently the Wacom X uh, further stand, uh, uh, extend that to the upper thermosphere and ionosphere. And uh, this is uh, just uh, some very brief uh, overview of the model components. So the model framework or the dynamic core is the same as the CAM dynamic core. And currently, we use the finite volume dynamic core. And uh, pretty soon, I guess, we're going to transition to the new uh, spectral element core. And for the chemistry, it's uh, basically the Mozart uh, module uh, uh, with the ion, uh, ion chemistry extension, and it's fully interactive with the uh, dynamics. And the physics, uh, this column is the uh, physics that's relevant for the thermosphere. And uh, it's all developed and, uh, in, the, uh, in the released version now. And this is the ionosphere module. And you can see that some of them are there. Some of the parameterizations and modules are already there. And some of them are still under development. So as I mentioned, these are in the release. And uh, this is in the community release. But these are still under development. And uh, for the model uh, resolution, we use the standard two degree resolution. And you have the option to uh, run it at 81 levels, which is a default, uh, but also at the higher resolution, 125 uh, levels. So these are the general capabilities of the released model, which is the CSM 104 uh, version. And uh, it can be used to study the whole atmosphere compositional thermal and wind structures. And also, uh, in, you know, because this, this model doesn't have the ionosphere capability yet. So it will be mainly used for study the thermosphere variability on different time scales from uh, uh, longer climate time scales to seasonal and interannual variability and to day-to-day -day variability. And this is a quick uh, kind of overview of the general structure of CESM, maybe more like the uh, management structure. There are 12 working groups. We are one of the 12 working groups. Uh, whole atmosphere, we interact pretty closely with uh, atmosphere and, uh, I don't know, ocean. And maybe in the future, we may interact w more with the paleoclimate working groups and also camp chem, chemistry climate working groups. So, uh, so in the uh, rest of the session, uh, my colleague, Sean Santos from CGD, is going to discuss the use of CESM 
And uh, Dan Marsh from uh, ACD Atmosphere Chemistry Division for NCAR uh, is going to discuss a Wacom, uh, how to uh, download it and run it. And uh, Joe is going to, from HAO is going, Joe McInerney is going to discuss the uh, uh, Wacom X. And uh, there are some useful informations. This is a CSM website, a Wacom Working Group uh, web website, and then there's the user forum, which you may find useful. And uh, these are uh, two references. This is on the standard Wacom, uh, Wacom model, and this is uh, on Wacom X. So without further ado, I will have uh, Sean here give us the ESM part of the tutorial. <laughs> 